now changes. Yeah. Speaker. The Honourable Todd McCoy. Well, Mr Speaker, there you have it. Grant Robinson is more red-faced and moving faster than the last time he was in a hot yoga class spinning, because that's exactly what you just heard from him. It's from a confused government that are still surprised that they're in government. And they're doing what they did every day in opposition, which is to manufacture a crisis. But the difference here, Mr Speaker, is Grant Robinson has stood before this House today and he has started to rewrite history. Well, the thing that Mr Robinson uh, can't get over is that he's now in charge and he needs to step up and stop making excuses and actually show some leadership. And he might share that with the Prime Minister. Could you see, Mr Speaker, the reality is starting to sink in. They promised everything during the election campaign and now they cannot deliver. And that's why they're resetting uh, expectation. That's why they're starting to spin, and that's why we're starting to see fake news all over the place. And today you're going to hear from some of our spokespeople who were ministers who actually know what was going on and who are actually uh, the authority here about the record of the last government, and they're going to peel back the covers of the rewriting of history that we just heard. But, Mr Speaker... Jacinda Ardern stood on the platform in front of the television and she said she would be a different type of Prime Minister. And I'll give her this, she is already after six months. She's taken a new government in six months and she's turned it into one that looks like it's been there for three terms. And the reason for this is she can't control Winston Peters. She actually ta is taking the Greens for granted and Kiwis are starting to see the cracks. And there are distractions everywhere, and Grant Robinson is trying to fix them. So what have we seen over the last five weeks? Because this government has just had five weeks of terrible news where they've been off message just six months in. We had the Russian debacle where we're still waiting for the, the Russian debacle where we're still waiting for the foreign minister to actually say it was the Russians. We had the Labour study camp issue. We had Claire Curran, who's the gift that keeps on giving for everybody but the Prime Minister and her leadership. And then we had Jenny Marcroft and Tracy Martin, who were threatening a local MP over local problems. And actually, they've been avoiding the media every single day. We had last week a decision that the Greens like, that every single New Zealand is going to have to pay at least $15 extra each time they fill up their pumps just so Aucklanders cannot use a tram. You've got Shane Jones threatening commu uh, commercial entities. And then last week, we had a new MP, Paul Eagle, who's either swearing at a panel beater or a constituent, but either one of those actually doesn't work. You see, Mr Speaker, there is no crisis other than leadership in government. And Grant Robertson realised they've overpromised. They've already spent it all, and now there's none left. You see, they gave Shane Jones $3 billion during the, uh, during the negotiation to form the government, a regional slush fund. They've just delivered $2.8 billion so that students can study for free in the first year, and the universities and others are saying there are no extra students coming. You've got Winston Peters who said there's a lot more money coming for, for uh, Pacific Aid. And then you've got the Greens who have made the government rip $5 billion out of the regions for those Auckland trams. So when they say there's a crisis, it's because there's no money left and Grant Robertson can't deliver on those promises. There will be nothing for the teachers or the nurses or the midwives or the others they promised before the election because they just didn't think that they were going to be in charge. So Grant Robertson's spinning as fast as he can. He's dampening down expectation. It just won't wash and it won't, it won't stick because Nikki Kay today will speak about the great record that we have in education where we went from $8 billion to $11 billion a year increase and great results for Kiwis up and down the country, young New Zealanders who now have a better chance. And in health, an extra $5 billion a year in spending uh, 50,000 more operations per year, uh, 800,000 children are getting free doctor's visits. That was a hard-working government. Mr Speaker, what I want to say is that a competent government deals with issues when they come up. This government needs to stop making excuses 
stop manufacturing crises, stop spinning, stop lowering expectation, and just do their job. Order. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Thank you very much. <laughs>